Hello, 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 my friends. Caitlin here, and how do you feel about your body? Is it too fat or thin or too ugly or do you have too many scars or pimples or just the wrong shape or size? Do you, you know, actually love your body? Loving my body, you know, accepting the skin that I am in has not been an easy thing for me to do pretty much as long as I can remember. I just remember seeing a photo of myself from the beach when I was like 11 or 12 and I was in that super awkward boxy preteen body stage and being like, oh my gosh, I look so weird looking and fat. That's probably the first time that I can remember being aware of my body and the way that it looked and how other people might be perceiving it. Also in middle school, which was just the time that was awful for me, there was the whole baby doll top trend, which essentially looked like maternity tops for teenagers. I had a few of them, not because I picked them out, but because my mother or grandmother thought they looked really cute and they bought them for me. And lo and behold, the one time that I wear one, some jerk face boy was like, oh, Kaylin, when's the baby due? Just really? This was just devastating for me. And the idea of looking pregnant, especially when you were not pregnant, became this huge fear that permeated every way that I dressed and how I felt about my body. The way I dressed myself and critiqued my body in high school and in college was all about how tight could I make my shirt in order to make sure that no one could be confused and think that I was pregnant. But then there was the double-edged sword to that, which is having a tight shirt where if there was any kind of pudge or like love handle at all, it was just horrific to me. I can remember doing crunches on my bedroom floor in the dark at like two in the morning, thinking that if I can just get the fat on my stomach to be like a half an inch around my belly button, then somehow I would be worthy of dating the guy that I liked. And now, <laughs> now I am not as skinny as I was back in high school or college when I thought I was gross and fat. And though I have a better understanding of the importance of my self-worth now, I still 100% beat myself up with the same kind of negative self-talk at times. Because real talk, loving your body is hard, especially when it isn't in the place that you think it should be. And when you're smart enough to know that society shoves totally unrealistic standards down our throats all the time, but you also have years of being brainwashed so that it's hard to sort through all those different feelings and unrealistic standards. So then, how do you love your body? A couple of ways. It's definitely recognizing that it is not an easy thing to do and that it takes practice, that it takes a daily affirmation of your body's worth at wherever it is today. It's asking yourself the hard questions, like can you love your body and still want to work on it? I think yes, but that's probably a topic for another video. It's embracing your body as it is in each moment. This is something that I need to work on because I've spent a lot of the last few years hiding it as some kind of twisted motivation for me to change it. Like I am a more curvy lady now, and instead of hiding it under baggy clothes and wearing sports bras and an effort to make my boobs look the way they did when I was 21 and basically flat chested, maybe I should just embrace it. As you can see in my baggy men's t-shirt, I am not quite there yet. But basically not spending your valuable time and energy trying to hide because we ain't got time for that. It's also changing the kinds of things that you say to your body. Obviously more positive and or kind things, things that don't tear you down. And it's practicing self-care. That might mean eating the ice cream sundae when you have had a terrible day, but it also might mean prioritizing some kind of regular movement for your body. I'm not necessarily talking about going to the gym every day and sweating it out. Some people love that. I'm not one of them, unless I'm in a pool. And yeah, but for me, it's really making sure that I do some kind of yoga or dance, preferably every day, even if it's just 15 minutes. Many times I think, oh, I don't need to do that today. I would much rather be a blanket burrito because life sucks and I suck too. But no, we can't do that. I mean, we can and we do, I definitely do. But one of my forms of self-care is not being a blanket burrito. So in my opinion, there are not any easy answers on how to love your body. But you also have to figure out what works out for you you as your own unique person with your own unique needs. But hopefully it's given you some kind of an idea that the self-hate you might feel towards your body, you are not alone in it. Me too, friend. Me too. But it's not healthy to hate your body. It's not fun either. You don't want to live your life like that, man. So for the question today, I want us to be kind to ourselves and I want you to tell me one thing that you do love about your body down in the comments. Like for me, I really love my eyes. I think they are a pretty color and they allow me to see the world 
which I find very important. So if this video made you smile, remember to subscribe and hit the little, little dingy bell. That'll tell you that I've uploaded a new video. Seems important these days. And follow me on some other places around the interwebs. Instagram is my favorite. You get to see pictures of my cute cat. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha